Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. It does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we get into week 3 of the NFL season, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section right here, which has all the tools you need to make all your picks more accurately. Okay, so the full straight of games in the NFL, we're going to take a look at 5 of them. So we're going to go down through here and see what we have going for week three. Cardinals, Jaguars, Falcons, Giants. You see here some people have made their picks. Ravens, Lions. See again, some people have made their picks right here. Bears and Browns. Bengals and Steelers. That could be a nice AFC North matchup. We're not going to take a look at that one yet, though. A lot of games here. The games I'm looking at are a little bit down further on the list here, so bear with me as I get to them. Okay, here's the first one. The Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. In this AFC West battle, the teams both had to play at 1-1. One and one. The Chargers are average down at the moment compared to average for the Chiefs. If you look at the power ranking indicator for two teams, you see that the Chiefs have a plus 28 to plus 17 edge in that category, the odds so far for the game, the Chiefs are nearly a full touchdown and end extra point favorite at minus 6.5, and the over-under coming in now is at 54.5. The odds for the game, you can see for the Kansas City, 1.31 to 3.36 for the Chargers. If you're considering the over-under in this game, which we always like to do, you can see that the Chargers are trending in games under the line, while the Chiefs are trending in the games over the line. Now let's take a look at the, the totals predictor says, or excuse me, the scores predictor. The scores predictor has the Chiefs here by a wide 36 to 16 margin with a pretty good level of confidence and prediction of 70%. I'm tending to agree with this. I believe that the Chiefs will win and cover the spread, but I would not uh, bet the over and under. But let's just take a look here real quick before we go to the next game at the movement in the money line. If you see the money line right here, you can see it started at uh, 1.3, and you should see there's quite a bit of movement down here at 1.37, but then it's back pretty much back up to almost where it started at 1.31. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the next game now. The Washington football team at the Buffalo Bills. Washington improved to 1-1 one one after a narrow win over NFC East rival New York. Buffalo got back on track after a 35-0 shutout over the Dolphins. You see Washington is ice cold up at the moment and Buffalo is average up. Right now, the line is a 6.5 point favorite for Buffalo, so nearly a touchdown and extra point favorite. The odds of 1.31 to 3.36. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that Buffalo is at plus 14, just a narrow edge over Washington, or at plus 12 at the moment. Well, let's take a look at the prediction for the score here. The scores predictor has the Bills by a pretty comfortable margin, 30 to 18, which would cover the spread, and the confidence of prediction is almost 70%. Uh, the over-under in this game, if I did not mention it, it is at 45.5 at the moment. So we're, let's take a look at the over-under here. You see here that Washington is trending in games over the line all season. The first two games and Buffalo is trending over also. This is a very good indication to bet the over. And the scores prediction does have what uh what, what do you have here? 48 point total with a line of 45.5. I tend to agree with that. I would go with Buffalo and the over. Dolphins at the Raiders. Jets and Broncos. Here's the next game we want to look at. Is the Seattle Seahawks and the Minnesota Vikings. The Seahawks dropped the ball in their home opener, losing to Tennessee by the score of 33-30. to The Vikings have struggled in both of their games so far this year, but they could very well be 2-0 instead of 0-2, losing both games by a combined total of 4 points. You can see they have dead status at the moment, while the Seahawks are ice cold down. The line is a narrow 1.5 point favor for Seattle. You can see the odds reflect that as well at 1.75 to 2.05. And the over-under on this one right now is at 55.5. And again, if you want to look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the trends here. Seattle is at plus 23, 
And with the two losses, Minnesota dropped from plus 20 all the way down to plus 3. If you're considering the over and under bet on this one, you can see Seattle is trending in games under the line so far this season. You can see the black line compared to the blue line. And looking at Minnesota, they're trending in games over the line. Usually when there's a discrepancy like that, when one team's on one side of the line, the other team is on the other, I try to avoid the over and under. But let's take a look at what the scores predictor shows. The scores predictor has the Seattle by a 30 to 6 score with confidence in prediction of almost 52%. That is quite a bit under the line, even though it's only 51% uh, confidence in prediction. I'll take a look as that gets closer to the game if that has changed. Right now, I am thinking that Seattle will win the contest on the road, and I believe that betting the under is a better play. I would either bet the under or not bet at all. I would not bet over the line in this one, though. Tampa Bay and the Rams. That should be a good contest. Not going to really take a look at that one, though, because there's a couple other games we want to look at that are, I think are better matchups for this week. Here's one. Probably the best matchup of the week, the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. The Packers entered the, the contest with a 1-1 one -one record, coming off of a win, and the 49ers begin their home schedule after winning two on the road, the last one at Philadelphia by a 17-11 score. So you can see San Francisco is burning hot at the moment. While well, the Packers are dead up. The line is currently a 3.5 point line in favor of the 49ers. You can see the odds at 1.55 to 2.42. Take a look at the over-under here, set at 50.5. The scores predictor shows the 49ers winning by a wide margin, 37 to 16, with 70% level of confidence. If this score would hold true, this would definitely go over the line by a couple of points. So let's take a look at what our totals predictor says. Our totals predictor shows the Packers trending in games over the line. The 49ers trending in games, uh, well, over the line here as well. So I think betting the over would be a smart play in this one. Let's take a look at the, what the money line is showing right now. You see it is a sharp line move detected in favor of the 49ers. And you can see here that it started at 1.51 and then went to 1.6. To nine, and now it's currently at 1.549, so just slightly off from the opening line. So what I think is going to happen here is I believe that this will be a great game. I really do think this is going to be one of the games of the week, but I think the 49ers will win the game. I think it will be much closer than this what the scores predictor shows, but the 49ers will win and cover at home. And finally, we're going to look at a classic NFC East matchup, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys on Monday Night Football. The Eagles come in after falling to the 49ers. They are 1-1. One one. Dallas is also 1-1 one one coming off of the last second win against the Chargers with that field goal. You see here that on the power ranking indicator, the Eagles are at plus 21. The Cowboys are at plus 2. The Cowboys are a home favorite of 3.5 points. Odds of 1.51 to 2.542. And the over-under is sitting at 52.5. The Cowboys have, are given the confidence in prediction of 41% to win by a 29-28 score. Uh, if you look at the totals predictor, you can see that Philadelphia is trending in games over the line. Uh, excuse me, not over the line, under the line here. The black compared to the blue. And Dallas is trending in the games over the line. In this case, I would avoid betting the over and under. But I do think Dallas will likely win the game. But I think the Eagles have a chance to cover, and it will not surprise me to see an upset here. So I will take the Eagles and the over. So there you have it. So those are all the matchups for this week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.